Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark channel. Friends, in Telix Endpoint Security series, today I am going to demonstrate Telix Endpoint Security Agent Console. You all know uh, about EPO console, right? But if in case you are new, then Endpoint Security is also has its own console. And there's a couple of features available, uh, which I guess you should must know before you start learning on the Endpoint Security because so far we have covered the basic things and from here onwards the actual things start so your understanding is very important about how exactly you understand this console but before i start demonstrating all the things which is available here one small quick intro video welcome back guys guys uh, as you saw in a previous video that we have deployed a couple of component on this machine one is, is security platform so security platform is just basically this entire console okay this doesn't get visible you know separately but when you synchronize your telix endpoint uh, you know this policies like check for new policy enforce policies you will see this particular component uh, security platform is considered into this gs okay endpoint security gs and then when you talk about the threat prevention then threat prevention is this one am then you are firewall web control and adaptive threat prevention let's ignore about this my epu is currently offline so you might see this red mark but don't worry about that now let's talk about the uh, options which is available here so in my uh, uh, agent console there are you know uh, three options which are available here in status it shows what are the components of endpoint securities are installed in your system and the status whether the service is enabled disabled or there's any issue okay so currently my all the components are installed correctly and the service status is showing enabled and if in case if you got any threat into the ur uh, this uh, machine it will be visible into here with the uh, count as well as you know uh, if you go to the uh, event log then all the detection will be visible here okay so once you click on that particular event it will show by which policy is got detected and what is the action it has been taken along with the hash value and those are the basic information along with that if you want to drill down by which uh, exactly component or module it has been detected and how many are how many are they then yeah you can start filtering these things out and explore the options once you have detection and here it will show all the files which has been quarantined now uh, scan system is basically you know help you to in initiate the full scan quick scan you know uh, of your system but yeah and then what exactly is going to be scanned uh, so everything will be done through the epo console like when the full scan is initiated or quick scan is initiated what is the directory uh, you know the this particular endpoint security should scan okay so this are all the things we are be going to uh, check out into the our policy section now update now so when you click on update now it is basically check for your you know uh, connect with your epo server to receive the updates right now it will not do anything because my epo console is offline so forget about this let me click on cancel okay now let's go to the you know this option so, so very first i'll go to the settings section in settings it will show all the configuration which is available like your epo console under the policies if you click on advance it will show all the policies so guys these are the same thing which you see on the epo console it's like a policy okay so instead of going into the here i'll be demonstrating all the things into the console but yeah if you are using standalone uh, endpoint security on your machine then yeah you will have to do all the configuration at agent level but yeah if you are using managed uh, endpoint then yes all the configuration will be done using the epo okay so configuration is uh, same whether you are doing on epo console or agent level just understand the things how it works okay so i will not uh, waste all you guys time in here because we are going to cover this into the policy section of epo server so let me cancel this 
and we'll go to the about section in about section you know uh, as you could see this is the platform right so endpoint security platform what is the version of your uh, platform as well as the hotfix is, uh, whether it's installed or not uh, the port number visual user for epo communication as well as your epo server address i mean the ip address agent to server last communication time agent to uh, agent last policy update check time so all the things are visible here okay uh, similarly if you scroll down adaptive threat prevention will be shown which we uh, you know install separately as well as the license license all the component has the active right whether it could be firewall threat prevention adaptive threat prevention web control will be seen at the end okay so until and unless you are licensed to use this software it will not work if you don't have the license okay and for this endpoint security platform there is a no license required because guys just for your reference let me just you know tell you if you are just using dlp in your environment and there is no endpoint security uh, software is purchased then you will see in the mac system this endpoint security platform is automatically getting installed right so that's the reason it don't has the license intact it's free of cost but to use the actual feature yeah there is a license required in adaptive threat prevention also it shows what is the your uh, uh, engine version which is the real protect as well as the advanced remediation version so these are the pattern or you can say the you know for the security purpose so make sure you are always on the latest version content version similar way if you go to the threat prevention which is the now traditional av solution then here is your definition am core content version which is the actual virus definition okay so latest version is 5350 you can always compare this with your epo okay it has to be on same and if in case you, uh, your definition is not updated on the epo server make sure you update on the daily basis all through it's happen automatically but somehow for any reason it missed or not uh, getting updated yeah you will have to make sure it's getting updated every day so that your system will be protected from the known and unknown malicious activity on your system am core engine version okay so always uh, make sure that as soon as the engine version get release it yeah, your system is uh, receive the update but yeah all the things has to be tested on the uot environment first when you talk about the engine for virus definition there is no testing is required so these are the basic things i hope guys now you have understood how things works and what are the things are available into the endpoint security now rollback m core content if you see okay one of the m core content is uh, get updated and after that your system started malfunctioning or something like that then you can always use the feature of rollback m core content okay and it will show you to which version you want to go back this is also one of the very interesting feature but right now today only i have installed my uh, endpoint security so it's not showing me multiple version so for to where i can go back it's just showing one version which is the available one now let's cancel on this and then yeah load extra that guys this feature is very important sometimes what happens uh telix release uh, you know extra that for to you know, patch one of the vulnerabilities or you know or to fight with one of the um, malicious uh, virus okay so in or for troubleshooting purpose you are if your environment is affected by one of the virus okay so uh, technical team works on that particular uh, virus and then create you know the definition file so that extra that you can add into here okay if you want to update on the local machine all through it will be added from the epo as well but yeah this is how you can use when you just wanted to add for one of the machine help uh, frequently asked question this is uh, the some epq help supported links okay so these are some basic information which will we will not go in uh, in much deeper because uh, at the end we are again and again going to touch our endpoint security console at that time we'll learn all the things which is available so hopefully now you are you know quite used to with your endpoint security console of the telix and guys as i shown you that when you go to the about section it's provide you very much deeper information which you can use for the you know, communication uh, timing communication you know uh, policy update which is not available into the telix agent right when exactly is check for the last communication because when you just referring telix agent monitor you are just checking the timing 
डेट सीयर एज वेल एज द ई पी ओ बट इट डजेंट गिव मच इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑन द एजेंट बट वेन यू चेक विथ यूर टेलिक्स एजेंट एंड वन सिक्योरिटी कंसोल या यू विल गेट द एग्जैक्ट डेट एंड टाइमिंग वेन एग्जैक्टली द ऑपरेशन वॉज सक्सेसफुल वट इट एज अर इन द जू आई डी विच यू आर रेफरिंग हियर इज आवर एजेंट इफ आई गो क्लिक ऑन एजेंट सेटिंग दिन या यू कैन सी इज स्टार्ट विथ सी बी एंड एंड विथ अ ई वन सी बी ई वन सो दीज आर दू नो कपल ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन विच विच शुड यू बी वेलिटेड फ्रॉम द एन पॉइंट सिक्योरिटी कंसोल एज वेल सो आई होप गाइज नाउ यू हैव गॉट प्लेंटी ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड इन गोइंग फर्दर विल बी लर्निंग ऑल द थिंग्स इन मोर मच मोर डीपर and from next uh, video onwards i'll be starting the configuration of the policies okay so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please consider subscribing so that as and when i'll upload new video you'll be very first to notify so that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye